Sure. So she lives in a 55 plus community in Ording, also a new house um, that that we were able to get uh, for her. She moved in last year. Um, she had a lot of anxiety, has always had a lot of anxiety, anxiety about power outages, um, you know, have it losing the food in her fridge and so on. And it was always part of the plan that once the house was built, we were going to go with a solar installation with her and then we were going to get batteries. So this was the first time we were able to do both at the same time. And for her, it was it was partially uh, life safety for me, you know, having her heat be able to work, uh, having her air conditioner continue to be able to work if it's super hot outside, being able to keep her uh, refrigerator running and her freezer running. And then also more than anything else, just giving her the peace of mind that knowing that if there was an outage, she would be covered and continue to be able to operate. Um, also in ordering, there were there are a lot of power outages. She's had a significant number of them since the installation. And I get the alerts on my my Tesla app when she's lost power and she doesn't realize it. her entire house stays up and running. Um, and I will send her text to say, hey, do you know you your power's out? Oh no, I didn't realize. And then she'll find out from her neighbors. And, and these are usually a few minutes at a time. Uh, but here in uh, September, they had a very significant outage out in ordering. You know, we had a lot of uh, uh, storms and so on coming through, a uh, lot of wind. So there were power, power outages all over the sound. Uh, if you were to look at the Puget Sound Energy outage map, I mean, they were everywhere. And so her power went out on September 7th uh, at about 9.43 p.m. I got the alert. Uh, she has security cameras all over her house, just like I do, which I have access to. Can, I can see remotely. I can see when her parent or her, I'm sorry, her neighbor's lights went out. Um, but hers all stayed on. Uh, the only one in a very dark neighborhood uh, with all those lights out. Uh, and so her power stayed on and she had no idea had no impact to her uh, unfortunately comcast doesn't have that kind of backup so their equipment went down about two hours later and she lost internet access uh, but she maintained power through the entire next 23 hours and 50 minutes of having no utility power uh, the only impact to her being that her internet was down and that was because of comcast and not because of her power being out uh, so her neighbors didn't have any sort of backup solution. Uh, a couple of them went out and bought very long extension cords and plugged their freezers and refrigerators into her outlets. So she was able to help them. They're a very close knit community down there. Um, so that was great. And it was just a huge boon to her and really got some of her neighbors thinking themselves about, you know, in an extended power outage, what are we going to do? What kind of backup solution are we going to have? So it was, it was a godsend for her. It was a godsend for me knowing that she had power knowing that she could run her AC, that she could do laundry if she needed to, um, that all of those things were taken care of uh, and that she didn't have to worry about it.